Good morning, James. We're waking up to a few showers that are quickly moving out of the area. It's going to be a little bit warmer today. Look at these afternoon high temperatures, upper 70s to right around 80 if you are inland with mostly sunny skies. If you are leaving the Dublin interchange, you have some light rain right now, but if you are traveling westbound, you're going to be seeing some rain all the way to Castro Valley. This is a live look at SFO. Generally, we can see the airport, but looking at the lens, we have plenty of drizzle out there. Gilroy 103, Santa Rosa 102, and it beat those previous records that were actually all set back in 1999. Here's your ready for school forecast 730 on the dot right now into the next 30 minutes at 8 o'clock. Temperatures will be into the low to mid 60s for those bay and inland spots. Time right now is 644 and breaking news. We are still following this morning. United Airlines has grounded all of their flights to all destinations. They're tracking two hot spots for you this morning. The first one is on the San Mateo Bridge with traffic moving westbound. There was an accident earlier this morning has since been cleared, but traffic has continued to build in this area. We're tracking three major hurricanes right now across Pacific. That's all east of the International Date Line. Defense forces have been deployed to help rescue people from heavy rain and flooding across central and east. Japan. There was an accident right before Story Road has since been cleared, but traffic continues to be a mess across the South Bay. I want to give you some of these drive times in the area. Drive times are pretty heavy. If you're coming from the Capitol Expressway to Montague Expressway, a 37 minute drive. The earthquake happened at 439 this morning across Central California. That's 28 miles southeast of Hollister. A few isolated showers well off to the west and northwest, and that's all ahead of a system that's off to the west. You can even see that upper level low, that circulation. That is going to continue to track off to the east. The roads are damp because okay. we did see isolated showers last night. It stretches all the way from San Francisco to parts of Daly City, traveling 101 southbound into South San Francisco. It is light from South San Francisco into Burlingame, but this will continue to move off in that western, southwestern direction. Temperatures around the area, we have some mid to upper 60s for those inland spots. Concord 67, Pleasanton 66 degrees. You can see the yellow from the sun. You can also see that mackerel sky. You can see those alto cumulus clouds. A very beautiful beautiful start. We do have some fog across the Golden Gate. We have seen a minor improvement. You can start to see the bottom part of the South Tower and continuing coverage of the Warriors win from last night. I'm following what local mayors are saying on social media. The Giants do play the Mets at 715. Temperatures will be into the upper 50s to right around 60. It will be mostly cloudy. 74 degrees when the fairgrounds open up by the early afternoon. You'll definitely need the water, the sunblock and light colored clothing because it's going to be hot out there. We had the potential for some record heat, mainly across the East Bay and the North Bay. We continue to get pictures and video of the Valley Fire. I do want to show you one video clip as the fire grew on Saturday. And by the weekend, we'll start to turn closer to the north. We could see some showers possibly on Sunday and maybe even Monday warming up into the upper 60s and that's by the lunch hour. So if you want to spend your lunch outside, it will be sunny, but it will be breezy at times. Drizzle may be possible. So keep that in mind on your morning drive. It could mess up the hair as you get ready as well.